so like that group, there was a group that was complaining about Mordo, Baron Mordo, um, who was changed into uh, the black character, the black actor uh, played by the black actor Chadwick Boseman, for, and they somehow forgot and and missed that the ancient one was changed into a white woman, played by Tilda Swinton. But that's not the only time it's happened. It's happened a lot, and it's funny because they. So we'll talk about some of these fictional characters, you know. Like I didn't even know. Like I just came across a bunch of them um, in, in, prep, in preparation for this video that I because I hadn't been familiar with some of the source material. So warm bodies, um, which was like a zombie um, romance thing story. Apparently, one of the main characters, played by a white, white chick, was supposed to be Ethiopian in the book um, or the whatever it was adapted from. Uh, Wanted, which was based on a comic book. Angelina Jolie's character, Fox, black woman in the comic. <laughs> um, Speed Racer. They changed the entire family um, to a white family in the Midwest. Midwest. Jake Gyllenhaal in Prince of Persia. In Prince of Persia, it's in Persia, <laughs> but Jake Gyllenhaal and even the, the lead actress, they, they changed their race. Um, 30 days, 30 days of night, they did it. Dragon Ball Evolution, which had a whole host of problems, including that they, they race swapped Goku. Um, uh, the social network. Okay. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, reason why, there's a reason why I didn't want to talk about that. West Side Story, um, we're supposed to be Puerto Ricans and these are non-Puerto Rican people playing Puerto Ricans. And then with, and I'm talking about the original and Rita Moreno actually had to darken her skin. They had, she had to put brown face on like, wow. Then you have the last airbender and the last airbender where the only person that like was actually Asian was the villain. It's like, wow, that, that's kind of crazy. Now there's, there's people, there's, there's movies I haven't even talked about yet because you know how I'm talking about how this whitewashing is happening with how people are complaining about race swapping with fictional characters. And then they'll say, well, what if we did with real, real people? You know, it's happened with real people. There's been whitewashing of real people. So a mighty heart, a mighty heart was about, um, Daniel Pearl's wife. Daniel Pearl was a reporter. Um, I think he got his head chopped off and his wife was mixed racial descent played by Angelina Jolie. They actually said that they had to, they, they darkened her skin. So she had to put on brown face and wear a kinky wig um, to look more like his um, wife who was not a white woman. Um, there's a, a movie called Stuck starring Mina Suvari where um, this, this, this woman um, hits a guy and you know he's, he's dying, he's like stuck in her car. It's a black woman in real life played by Mina Suvari in the movie. World Trade Center. There's like a one of the heroes in 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 the thing is played by a white guy, but in real life, the guy is black, and he's like, I don't know why they, I don't know why they had a white guy play me, play me. The Social Network, which is based on the founding of Facebook, the, they got a guy played by um, Max Minghella, who's actually Indian in real life. Then you have Twenty One. Twenty One is that movie with the the kids that are from MIT and they're counting cards and everything. And I forget the actor's name, but some white kids playing it in the movie. But in real life, those were Asian students that did that. <laughs> so it's funny when they talk about, oh, well, what if we race swapped and they go to historical characters as if, no, it's already happened. This has already happened repeatedly, repeatedly. <laughs> This is not like this is not it's not an isolated incident. This has happened habitually and repeatedly, and they've done it not just with fictional characters, but they've actually race swapped, whitewashed actual people that really like real live people have been whitewashed for these movies. There's Hollywood for you. Um, I don't like I don't I don't I'm guessing you're saying I don't care. I don't care if a character is white. Black, gay, fat, and the characters well written matters more. Okay, I, if that's your p position, I get it. 
but there are people who are like their channels every day they're complaining about they're finding some character that uh they think shouldn't be like even before they see the show they'll just see the the trailer for the show and assume oh no they, they want to erase white people like this like this dude complaining about the batman was crazy like batman's still white you get that <laughs> batman was white uh alfred was white like there's still a bunch of white people in this movie not just the bad guys whitewashing is rewriting history christianity school childhood advertising movies literature news music holiday celebrations and that's what people are missing that's what a lot of people are missing like this is beyond just the movie this is beyond just you know uh hollywood like this is a a pervasive pattern that's happening in western society thank you for checking out this clip of escaping the echo chamber if you would like to check out the entire live stream you can click on the screen now or you can click on the link in the description box below I'll see you next time.